you guys want to see a debut with Alec Mills, let's get this video to like 1500 likes or something. I did not think this many people would be all that into an Alec Mills debut, but I guess I was wrong. What's up guys? You hit the like goal yesterday, so of course that means today we are going to be debuting 99 overall Alec Mills. I said yesterday when I initially talked about this card that he looks interesting. I don't know if he's going to be good, especially with his sinker only topping out at like 90, maybe 91, 92. I mean, velocity, you guys know how I feel about that. I feel like that's a pretty big deal this year. The attributes are good and the pitch selection seems good. It's just like, I don't know how to feel about this card, but that's what this video is here for. Also, just in case you don't know how to get him, he's free right now. He's only gonna be there for a day and 21 more hours, but he's free, doesn't cost any stubs. You just buy that pack and then you open the pack, you get the card, boom, you're good. And he's sellable if you want him. So we're gonna jump into the Alec Mills debut, but before we do, we actually have a sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by my friends over at Basement Sports, and I'm here to tell you guys about Basement Sports Baseball. Baseball is the first sport in their line of mixed reality gaming products and apps, and Basement Baseball combines a physical starter kit with an app that lets players keep score and create leagues with their friends and family. You can download the Basement Sports Baseball app right now. The big promotion they have right now is the Basement Sports World Series. In the World Series, you get to create brackets with four people and you'll basically play through those round robin style. And if you keep playing well enough and keep advancing, you can get up to a national level where you can compete for over $25,000 in prizes. You can download the Basement Sports Baseball app today and their baseball kits are in and ready for the holiday season. If you guys want to drop them a follow, their Instagram is underscore basement sports. Their other social links as well as their fundraiser page will be in the description. So thank you to Basement sports for sponsoring this video so thank you to basement sports for that but right now this is the lineup that we will be using for this video hopefully providing enough run support for alec mills especially since i don't know exactly if he's going to be good or bad i am probably going to need all the run support that i can get so if you guys enjoy the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button that always helps these videos out we also got the extreme stuff coming out on friday i don't exactly know if we're doing anything tomorrow for content but we'll see man hopefully it's fun so if you guys enjoy the video hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's see how this Alec Mills actually is. Please don't be prestige oral. Okay, Greg Maddox. So a battle of two pitchers that don't throw hard at all. That's a that's a great way to start it off. That's exciting. Good pitch, dude. That was a dot. I wasn't even close to that. The fact that that ball is even carrying at all is crazy to me. All right, so once again, <laughs> I've got no idea how this is gonna go, but we're about to find out. I gotta throw this curveball. Apparently it gets up to like 68 miles per hour. Here we go. Wow, that is slow and I actually got him to strike out. I mean, the nice thing about this card is the 125 hits per nine. That PCI on the other side of things should be pretty tiny. Ground ball to Tatis, two up, two down. High and in fastball to Frank Thomas seems very dangerous, but it worked out. All right, so we both go one, two, three in the first. Good start for Alec Mills. That's gonna get down, isn't it? Let's go, Big Poppy. First hit of the game is a double. Well, it gets him to third. Not the most flashy hit from Mike Trout. Ooh, ball four on a three-two count. The double play is set up now, though. 37 speed. I don't think that's enough. I really don't think that's enough to run on Mike Trout. I know it's fairly deep, but I don't trust it. There we go. It doesn't matter because Kevin Bad is back in the lineup and puts a three-run bomb on the board. So I got to know. What do you guys think about Alec Mills? Do you guys like this card? Do you use him? Is he just kind of like a free card that you're picking up to get uh, player of the month done for September? Like, what's the thoughts on Alec Mills? I want to know what the consensus is. Let me know in the comments. I'm doing it again. This pitch is just way too much fun. <laughs> I love it. Oh, good pitch. Yup, yup. Another strikeout. No way this works again, right? Yeah, I I got a little bit too comfortable with that curveball. That's what I expected to happen on the first couple times that I threw it. 
Oh, I missed that. Oh, and I actually got this. Did I just strike out the side? I think I did. Got a boy. Keep that 92 speed from Mantle on the bench. I like that. Good start to the third. Go a little low and in fastball here to Maddox. Got him for the second out. Here we go. Dude, hey, I'm not really all that scared of pitching with Alec Mills right now. I'm kind of going right after everybody, and it's working out. Needed that. Needed that. Got to get the offense moving again. Oh, yeah! Hornsby, let's go! Didn't miss that one. That ball is annihilated. Sinker high and in. Another ground ball. I think this is a perfect pitch right here. Sinker low and in. Yep, got him jammed. Fly out to right. Slider away to Springer. Strike three. Oh, my God. Yo, this card is awesome. I'm having so much fun pitching with him right now. Ah, that's his first hit since the home run, I think. That was a home run written all over it. He's fouled off like seven pitches in a row, dude. Come on, man. He's very late. Dude, come on. He's very late again. There we go. Finally, after all those foul balls, that double play was very nicely earned. Uh, he's got Babe Ruth off the bench. That is not comforting. There we go. Yep, silence the big bat off the bench. Keep it going, Alec. Need this change up to go exactly where I want it. I mean, it went under the zone, but it still felt like it kind of floated a little bit. It all worked out. Six innings, one run, two hits so far, and he's not done. We're all just Chapman. Why? Today's the day. We're going to get good against Chapman right now. Or not. Don't, don't ring me up. Oh my god, we gotta walk. Oh, dude, he was down 3-0 and then throws three immaculate pitches. What the hell? There you go, David Ortiz. Lefty, lefty. I mean, that's, you know, that's a pretty good swing on that pitch. I'm in that middle PCI. It's just not, you know, not good enough. I tried. I, I felt like I had pretty good at-bats against Chapman that inning. Oh, I thought he was going to get that on that little little spin. I'm going to get the bullpen going just in case here. If he starts getting into some trouble, I don't need to leave him in. He already threw a pretty good game. We don't have to ruin it. Let's go. Let's go. Sit down, Frank Thomas. Give me that double play. Ah, good swing, man. Good swing. He's starting to get hit a little bit. I don't know if it's the pitch count and he's getting a little bit more tired, but I may take him out after this inning. And we're going to get through it. Seven innings, one earned run. Beautiful performance for Alec Mills. We got to go against Mariano. Uh, honestly, I'm going to leave Dibble in just because uh, I feel like he's my best bet going into the ninth. Not a bad swing by Dibble. <laughs> Not bad at all, actually. Nice, Tatis. That'll be a that'll be a double, right? Yep, it's past him. Oh, that was a good pitch. That was a weird slider. That was kind of tough for me to take. Oh, that was filthy. Okay, this guy knows how to pitch with Mo. All right, Dibble, let's close it out. I'm gonna go right to the fastball, high and in on 0-2. Here we go. Get there, take it away from him, Trout. Out of boy. Come on, I want to spot this. I want to spot this fastball, low and away. Perfect pitch. A little delayed, but we got him. 0-2, oh, back to the cheese. I don't know why this is so laggy all of a sudden, but this should be the end of the game. It is. We take a 5-1 to one victory. We finally snapped the four-game losing streak. We're back in the win column, and it's all thanks to a magnificent pitching performance from 99 Alec Mills. Seven innings, one earned run, only four hits allowed, and he struck out five. The offense came down to really just two big home runs. A three-run home run from Kevin Bad and a two-run home run for Hornsby. That's all we needed. Now, yes, I did have a lot of fun using Alec Mills, but would I continue to use him in my starting rotation? 
I don't know, maybe. I mean, I feel like he's more of just like a fun card to use every once in a while than an actual end game pitcher. I mean, he pitched well, but I feel like a good player would probably start to jump on him pretty quickly. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he actually is a beast. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about Alec Mills in the comments. Are you going to be using him? If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.